normal foyer. Uh, where's the button here? Ah, thank you. Margarita's kind of coming extremely handy right about now. <clears throat> A good question. I think of foot. There's precedent in that he lost it in Resident Evil 7. And I feel like a, taking the hand again would be a little too obvious. That seems structurally sound. Okay, I can take my gun out back. Here we go. Back out. How's Benaviento? Uh, anything over here? Yeah, he could still lose a finger or something. Search everywhere. Aha! Yeah, I think that's it. All right, here we go. Resident Evil Castle and into the Resident Evil, not quite mansion, but slightly larger than a normal house. Okay, that's me. I thought the door was rattling for a sec. It's a little weird. I can't quite tell. If it, doors open automatically if you walk into them, but also the Use button works. I thought it froze up for a second there. Alright, I can't squeeze by. Game, if you could stop freezing up, that'd be nice. Hmm. There we go. Okay. <laughs> yeah, thanks. Every now and then, it's a little... For the most part, the performance of the game has been pretty stable. Every now and then there are hiccups, and sometimes I notice them when I go back through the uh, recording. And sometimes it's evident as it happens. Alright. These look like film reels. God, this is kind of unnerving. What's this? Yellow herbs. Hmm. Hmm. Anything here? Mr. Beneviento, got your 9mm prescription here. Don't even know if it's a mister, really. Okay, that door is locked. So there is something in the foyer, probably the top floor. Do I want to take the elevator? Not just yet. Let's check the stairs first. Yeah, this is kind of an effective, slow build 
for the dread here. There's no music, there's nothing actually happening, just the understanding that something will eventually happen, but not knowing quite what it's going to be, or what direction it's going to take. Yeah, that's the thing about dolls. They really can... When a game uses them as an enemy, it's sort of extra creepy because they can kind of come at you from just about anywhere. Okay, nothing up here. Hmm. Right. I guess that's the daughter. That. Maybe it's a Miss Benediviento. With that's the doll we saw at the tribunal. Or at least a doll that looks very much like one. Alright, that's locked. Yeah, there is so going to be some creepy doll whispering at some point. We've been waiting for you, Ethan. Rose is much happier with us. Something like that. Yeah, it, it's always they pick the creepiest fucking dolls to work with in this situation. It's never just like something you'd find at a Toys R Us. Okay. It's like they set out to make dolls that are going to turn into creepy, possessed murder dolls. Sort of like how every time a company makes a bioweapon out of a little girl, they just, like, willfully mistreat it and make it look like the... Is that an ambient noise, or was that something? They always willfully mistreat her and make her look like the ring. Like, you probably could have avoided the whole plot of fear if you'd just given the girl a pat on the head and taken her out of the suspension tank every now and then, you know? Give Alma a hug, that's all I'm saying. Yeah, elevators are a point of concern often enough in real life. Just because if something goes wrong, you're kind of stuck in there. It's never actually happened to me, but... I understand people get claustrophobic in them sometimes. Okay, that door's locked. There was something back there. Hmm. Items? Are you there? No, it wasn't in there. I believe that was more of a two and three thing. Initially, in Fear 1, she just kind of wanted revenge. Although, towards the end, when you finally confront her, it's kind of implied that she's just trying to embrace the protagonist. Because she does want some kind of affection, or at least recognition, from what was ultimately her children. But yeah, and... Oh, shit. We got music, kids. It's happening. Oh. I know it's fucking you, don't you... <sighs> You're gonna make me walk in there and pick the thing, aren't you? Oh, come on, this is so a fucking trap. Freaking Irish folk music there. Alright, definitely gonna save before we do this. Yeah, one thing I do like about uh, the Fear End game is it's actually possible to defeat Alma in that final section by, like, snap kicking her. Like, you do a jump kick in the air and you technically hit her before her hitbox closes in enough to kill you. And I just, I, that is, in my mind, is the canonical ending to Fear. Just Point Man doing this. Alright, that's locked. We can't go there. I'm gonna have to pick up the jar from the spooky doll. 
All right, no getting around it. Come on, Ethan, it's time to be dumb. Dare to be stupid. Weird Al, Weird Al style, motherfucker. I've been waiting for so long. I knew it. I so I fucking knew it. What? Wait, where's my gun? What? You bitch! Okay, seriously, how did they take my stuff that quickly? I'm gonna say that they there's some kind of drug in the air and now I'm tripping balls or something. Okay, that's locked. Was it a creak or was something crying? Okay, this is still locked. Right. So where's the thing I need? Is it a doll part? Oh, it's, maybe it's this thing. And it's gonna come to life at some point. Oh, I gotta feel around the doll? Jesus Christ. Okay. Well, this isn't creepy at all. There we go. Hey! Game, where are you going with this? Anything? Right, that door's locked. so I can clean something here. God damn it, the random noises that are just happening. Oh, but there's more on her. Yep, what's this? I get it. Is this a doll of Mia? Oh, we gotta explore more of her. Great, let's make this even creepier. Okay, uh, yes, let us fondle the doll some more. I'm totally not going to have to explain this to a psychiatrist someday. Uh-huh. What the fuck? Okay, so the eyes are all closed. What's up with your other arm? Yep, take the ring off. It's a bloody ring. Okay, yeah, this is really fucking creepy. Let's examine the doll chest of my wife, or the chest of my wife doll. I don't even know what the fuck to th think about this. Here, I gotta cut that open. Alright, what's up with your eyes? God, this is fucking weird. Okay, let's watch this ring. Alright, what's 
what's up with this ring here? Aha! 52911. Okay. Just a sec, doll wife. I gotta enter, enter a code here. Uh, I'll take a look at the arm in just a sec. Yeah, there's there's something about the eyes that pertains to the arm. And it looks like they're all closed. I think that's got something to do with the door. Because there was a missing indentation there. Examine mouth. Uh, what am I even doing here, man? There's something in its mouth. We need a tool to get it. Ugh. You know what? This is actually worse than ghost dolls. Like, by a wide margin. And I wouldn't even say I'm especially... Oh. Now what? Like, I wouldn't say I find dolls especially creepy, but there is something about dolls that lends themselves to very easily turning nightmarish on you. It's like clowns. It's just very easily warped into this twisted version of itself. Why is this here? Okay, so that's the music box from the intro. Or that's a music box that looks suspiciously like it. Yeah, that's it. It's... It's not necessarily that the closer it gets to human, the more weird it is. But that is part of it. It's the things that make it obviously not human become a little more pronounced the closer it tries to be human. Uh, didn't actually get anything in there, did I? There's gotta be something in here. Oh, wait, that's the music box. So, what the fuck? There's something in here. Our happy family. Rose's best friend in the whole wide world. She really likes this fairy tale. The most important thing in the world to us. A wedding gift from Grandma. Proof of Ethan's everlasting love for me. Huh. These are things we're going to have to collect. Huh. So we're doing some puzzles here. Okay, I get the feeling time has passed, because that those books I don't think were stacked here when I first came in. So my guess is that we got drugged or something at some point, or... If we're infected with the mutagen that's causing all this, it's causing us to hallucinate and lose track of time. Stuff monkey. Oh, the doll! Right, right, I forgot about that. Hmm. Oh, that's a good question, maybe. Yeah. The last name did end with an A, and Mia fits. Might be a bit of a stretch, but... At this point, anything's possible. Okay, uh, huh. Let's look around. Music box, breaker box. Oh, we can do something with the breaker box, okay. Doesn't 
fit that lock. Damn. Running out of places to look here. Uh, I don't think it let me. I'll, do, I'll check the legs real quick. Maybe I do something with a ring. No, I don't think it does. It lets me check the arm again, I think her face, and I think that's it. Wait, no, you're right. I'm sorry. Good call. What do we got here? Hey, look at that. Thanks, Fed. Good call. Now, let's go play the music box. solve this bitch. Uh, do I have to... Oh, I see. The scars have to line up. Seems like there's a scar on the left one that doesn't quite line up. Or a scratch, I should say. Okay, I see it. Yeah, there we go. Hey, look at that. Tweezers, perfect. I'm the best at solving puzzles that involve simple noticing of details. Unless they pertain to feeling of creepy dolls, and then I'm lost. Yeah, th this is basically the happy birthday sequence from Resident Evil 7. No! I'm not even gonna ask. The creepiness, maybe. The margarita, definitely. Uh, here we go. Nope, not the eyes. Oh, it did just run out. I'll give myself another one before uh, we get too far into this. Whatever you are, give. Aha! Hey, it is the monkey. Yeah, I feel like there are any number of things just in this room we could have used to fish out the film reel. Like, yeah, we probably could have, like, improvised tweezers from a couple paintbrushes there and just pulled it out that way. Yeah, whatever. Oh, whoa! Mia, stop doing that. You're dead. Dead people can't jump scare. Those are the rules. realize saying those are the rules doesn't really work in this game, or any game, really, but still. Uh, what am I doing? Oh, right. Office. Alright. Okay, so there's this puzzle. Alright, Rose's best friend in the whole wide world. That's Monkey Goes First.
She really likes this fairy tale, the most important thing in the world to us. So Rose herself is number three. This is number two. Oop. And a wedding gift and proof. Yeah, here we go. Yeah, yeah. Oh, wait. I gotta hit the space. All right. Now, what do we got here? Oh, God. This is the ring. Come on now. Like how we can see the ladder through the film, or through the stone. Right. Well, if it's any consolation, I don't think we're going to last the seven days. Actually, I wonder what happens then. Like, if you die from something else before set the before the ring girl gets you. What's your name? Sadako? Oh, oh, okay. Yeah, this isn't okay at all. This is extremely not okay here. Oh, these things are so gonna come alive and attack me, I can feel it. Right. Uh, I can go back and cut the bandages, or I can cut up then break open the creepy hole. Oh, I need something to do it. Oh, I can use the scissors. Samara, that's it. No, I can't use it. Did I use it? There we go. Okay, so she arranges it so you survive in seven days. Alright. And jump scare. No? Hmm. Oh, now we're gonna get the jump scare. Here we go. Please, Ethan. Listen to me. I didn't want to keep it from you. Mia? I didn't want to lose you again. I didn't want to destroy this family. Mia, what are you talking about? This is some repressed memories coming out. Or at least memories we weren't privy to. Right, that's another door. Something goes in there. Yeah, I feel like the number of places in just this village, let alone in the Resident Evil series, that have like secret passages and weird little quirks in its construction. There have to have been some tax incentives. Someone was making money off this stuff. George Trevor was a trendsetter, clearly. God damn. Oh, almost certainly. This is like... This is the off-brand copy of Silent Hill. The legally distinct copy of Silent Hill. Oh, great! I have to take off my wife doll's breast. This is just getting better and better. Yeah, Kren, welcome to the fucking party. This is... really getting weird on us. Uh-huh. Yeah, so for those just joining us, this is House Beneviento, our creepy doll maker and one of the four lords of the village. This must go to this medallion we just picked up must go to that door over there. You know what? I'm going to save real quick. I'm going to refill my margarita, because I'm definitely going to want more for this. I'll be right back.
da. Welcome back, everyone. Now, I am f I am reloaded, and we are ready for business. Let us continue with our exploration of the creepy doll mansion. All right. <clears throat> Okay, we gotta line up with what the arm showed. I think. Oh, wait, hang on a second. That was the symbol in the eye. I think. Hang on, let me go take a look. Alright. Arm, give me your wisdom. Okay, they're all closed eyes. I can't really see, but they're around a central thing. Hmm. Oh yeah, I bet Chris would love this. I'll let you know when I got the stream footage up afterward. Okay, so that's the bird. So, bird on... Closed eyes. Oh, okay. Here we go. There. And... Hey! Look at us solving puzzles. Uh, now you think of it, I did not. I wonder if that was something. Uh, no, it looks like that's just an arm. Just convenient, creepy arm falling down. Alright. Nice of them to let me keep my flashlight. You know, I wonder how they'd feel if I never actually able, was able to finish the puzzle. Like, they're just sitting down here waiting, they're like, oh, it's gonna be great. He's gonna finish the puzzle, he's gonna come down here, we're gonna scare the shit out of him, kill him, and everything's gonna be great. And they're just sitting down for hours and hours, and I'm stumbling around, not making any progress. You gotta figure eventually they get bored. Alright, uh... Yeah, this is the ring room. Great. Pardon me, Samara. Just here looking for my kid. Oh, breaker box key. Oh, of course! Because why wouldn't you dispose doll parts down a well? Oh, now what? Oh, no. No, 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 no. Oh, this is not okay. This is super not okay. There's something about a baby crying that both invokes empathy and naturally lends itself to shit like this. Why is there where did the blood come from? Why is why 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 is everything? Literally, why is anything? This ain't good. Oh, why is there intestines? Why does any of this exist? Why am I stuck playing the dumbest protagonist in the history of Resident Evil? Oh, no, 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 no! No, 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 no. Close the door. Where do I even fucking go? That thing is chasing me. Oh shit. Through here. 
through here. Uh, where do I even go? I don't have any guns. They took my inventory. Oh, of course I gotta go through the doll room again. I don't even want to see what the fuck is chasing me. I don't even know if it's chasing me. It might have wandered off. No, I can hear it. There's something in there's something outside. Okay, I gotta get to the breaker box. Yeah, there's something out there and it's gonna like rip my head off the second I come out here. the breaker box. I'm just gonna use this and everything's gonna be okay. Okay. Alright, that goes in the door we passed and something must go in the breaker box to turn it back on. Okay. Everything is cool. Nothing is fucked. We're very definitely not going to get intercepted on our way to this door. Oh, come the fuck on! I hate you. I hate you so much. You're worse than the, the Magneto dude. You're worse than Lady D. You're worse than whatever the hunchback person's deal is gonna be. Fucking Jesus Christ. You know, I, yeah, I knew there was going to be a stealth sequence at some point. But I was not anticipating this. I figured it'd be against Lady D. Uh, nothing there. Okay. Oh. oh shit. No reflection. Vampire Ethan confirmed. Oh come on, really? Why would I need to hide? Yeah, the fact that it's just this section makes it a little bit acceptable. It's This is handled better than the Jack Baker stuff was at the very beginning of... Or the, past the introduction of Resident Evil 7. Because there's actually places to hide and... Yeah. Yeah, demon doll baby thing is gonna come for our ass and we gotta hide under the bed. <laughs> SHIT! <laughs> Jesus Christ! <laughs> Fucking go, Ethan! Holy shit! Under the bed, go! Okay. Fuck me sideways. Okay. I'm glad I'm not looking that way. I don't want to see this thing. I, I don't want to acknowledge this thing exists. It's nothing. Everything is fine. It's gonna walk right around front. We're gonna see the whole thing. Right. Oh, Jesus Christ. What the fucking fuck? No, you look this way. You can't see shit, you little shit. That's right, you 
fuck off. That is fucking horrifying. Yeah, you called it Ivory. That's the fucking Cthulhu, baby. Okay, how do I get past this thing? Is it just gonna leave eventually? Okay. I think it's gone. Ethan, please stand. <laughs> yeah, that was the... Uh, that was a little more raw of a reaction than I was anticipating. Oh, Jesus Christ. What the fuck is even happening with this thing? So we need to get back here. Oh god. Yeah, everything about this is just horrifying. This is giving me some real Outlast 2 vibes. Just going full on baby body horror here. Okay, demon doll fetus, are you gone? You better be gone. There's a sentence I didn't think it'd be saying. Yeah, seriously, this, this better be like an umbrella facility and have a self-destruct mechanism. Oh, come on. Hit the button, hit the button. Oh, come on, man. Not waiting around for that fucking thing. Are you serious? The, the damn thing is hidden. Ow. Oh great. I gotta kite the fucking demon baby fetus. Jesus fucking Christ. Please summon the elevator. Can we go now? Hit the button. Hit the button. You say the fuck back. No, I'm not your daddy. Fuck you. I don't get it shit if you're literally my biological child. Fucking... No. We're going on fucking Mori and solving this shit, and we're gonna find out it's someone else. <laughs> okay. That was an asshole maneuver, evil doll. When I find you, I'm gonna beat the shit out of you. Okay. Oh, glad I reloaded the margarita. I need that. Alright, we're not out of the woods yet, because we've got, like, dolls to deal with. And this is not encouraging. Also, the fact that their eyes are gouged out. Oh, come on! You gotta be fucking kidding me. Now what? Oh, you're still alive. Uh... Oh, I knew it! I fucking knew it! All my friends murdered you! God damn it! Tick tock! Your life's on the line. Wait! Oh, great. Try and find me. <laughs> oh, yeah, this is exactly how I wanted this to fucking go. Okay. The dolls are like random murder dolls, and we gotta like find the like evil bride doll. Fuck everything about this. Fuck me. Fuck my life. Fuck every single instant in human history that led to this moment. 